We must all face the music, even the band is doomed. In the quirky film Stranger Than Fiction, Emma Thompson, as the droll author Karen Eiffel, delivers a line that stops you in your tracks. You will die, and life will carry on for everyone else. Your friends will grieve and then move on. You will die, and they will weep, and they will die too. Yes, indeed, we must all face the music. It's classic British humour. A bit dry, a tad morbid, yet, and still, undeniably true. We might chuckle, but underneath, it resonates with a universal truth. None of us are getting out of this alive. Life's symphony is a bittersweet melody that can be depressing. However, Thompson's quote isn't meant to be depressing, but rather a call to awareness. Life, like a beautiful symphony, has a beginning, middle, and inevitably, an end. Each of us is a note in this grand composition, contributing our unique sound to the whole. The bittersweet reality is that while the symphony continues, our individual notes eventually fade. But that fading doesn't diminish their importance. It's simply part of the larger musical tapestry. The upside and downside of facing our finality has crossed each and everyone's mind at some point or another, I'm quite sure. Now, pondering one's demise might seem a bit gloomy. It's a topic that many of us shy away from, preferring to focus on the lighter aspects of life. You might be thinking, pass the biscuits, Baz, not the existential dread, but bear with me. There's more to this contemplation than just darkness. Contemplating our mortality has its upsides. It can bring a sense of urgency to our lives, pushing us to make the most of every moment. It can make us appreciate the preciousness of time, reminding us that every second counts and that we should cherish the moments we have. It can encourage us to pursue our passions, to follow our dreams with a fervor we might not have had otherwise, and to mend broken bridges, healing relationships that matter. Of course, there's the downside, potential anxiety. The thought of the unknown can be daunting, and it's natural to feel a touch of fear. A touch of fear, perfectly natural responses to the unknown. It's a part of the human experience to feel this way when faced with uncertainty. But like a good British brew, stewing in it too long does no one any good. Instead, we should sip it slowly, savouring the warmth and comfort it brings, and then move forward with a renewed sense of purpose. Humans are a curious lot, always seeking to understand the mysteries that surround us. We crave certainty, especially about the great beyond, the final frontier that awaits us all. Over the centuries, we've concocted elaborate afterlife theories from pearly gates to reincarnation, each culture adding its own flavor to the narrative. These beliefs offer comfort, a way to cope with the unknown. But factually speaking, what we know about death boils down to this. Our physical bodies cease to function, the heart stops, the brain shuts down, the ultimate power nap, some might say, a final rest that we all must take. What happens to our consciousness? Does it simply fade away or does it journey elsewhere? Ah, that's the million pound question, isn't it? A question that has puzzled humanity for ages. Science offers intriguing theories from the idea of consciousness as a quantum phenomenon to the possibility of parallel universes, yet definitive answers remain elusive, leaving us to wonder and explore. So, where does this leave us? In the grand scheme of things, what does it mean to truly live? Knowing our time is finite, how do we navigate this thing called life? How do we make the most of every fleeting moment? Perhaps the answer lies in embracing the uncertainty. Accepting that we can't control everything, but we can choose how we respond. Instead of fearing death, we can focus on living fully, squeezing the marrow out of each day, finding joy in the little things and making memories that last. Let's savour the simple pleasures, a good cuppa, a hearty laugh with loved ones, the joy of a sunny day. These moments, though small, are the threads that weave the fabric of a meaningful life. Let's be kinder to ourselves and others, make choices that align with our values and leave this world a little brighter than we found it. By doing so, we create a legacy of love and compassion that transcends our own existence. In the grand scheme of things, our existence is but a blink. But oh, what a blink it can be! So let's raise a glass, a nice cup of tea perhaps, to the inevitable, 
to the unknown and to the sheer improbable wonder of it all. After all, it all boils down to this. Life is going to be what we make it. Morgan Freeman, as read in The Shawshank Redemption, said it best. You can get busy living, or you can get busy dying. And as for me, I will not choose the latter. This is Baz, signing off for now. Until next time, take care of yourselves. And each other.